the level of control, the climate of fear uh, is, seems to be present everywhere. Recently and retired DFO uh, biologist Steve Campana is one of just a small group of federal scientists willing to speak out about what he says is the federal government's pattern of silencing and censoring scientific research. He complains they are rarely allowed to talk about even the simplest research finds, including when he and a few colleagues discovered how to tell the age of lobsters and shrimp, which could help manage the stocks. But fisheries and oceans refused to let them talk about it in Canada. Meanwhile, one of my colleagues went down to uh, the United States and at a conference there and presented the work. The media just converged on him. But it's not just about lobster and shrimp. A CBC News Fifth Estate investigation found more than 2,000 scientists have been let go from the federal civil service in the past several years. And hundreds of research facilities have been closed. The union representing federal scientists held lunchtime protests in several cities, but few scientists turned up. Debbie Davio knows why. They're afraid uh, for the same reasons that media has been having troubles accessing scientists in the government. We're having troubles accessing our members or getting them to speak out publicly. The union believes the fear is so great, it says Ottawa's muzzling policies have put Canadians' health, environment, drug and food safety at risk. Close to 90% feel that if they did, and if it was an issue that involved uh, a threat, an imminent threat to public health, public safety, or the environment, even in those cases, they would, feel, they would face some kind of uh, punishment, some kind of retaliation. Campana says it's difficult to understand why the federal government is doing this. It, it's hard to fathom. It's, uh, it seems to be uh, simply a control issue. Gail Shea, the federal minister of fisheries and oceans, says no one is being muzzled. All I know is that I encourage our scientists to, uh, to talk about their work. I invite them into DFO labs to, to, so the public can see the good work that's uh, being carried out there. Campana says the facts speak for themselves, and he says the facts say the prognosis for federal science is dim. Stephen Puttycomb, CBC News, Halifax.